Hello, I'm back again. I had a problem with the internet connection, you know. Well, but thank you for your patience. Okay, guys. So I was telling you uh, if we have any volunteer who wants to try to read the big number. We, know, we have here six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that this quantity is about millions. So how can you read it? Try. Yes, and I can read your lips. <laughs> uh -huh, Patty. One hundred twenty-three million. Million, yes. And then million. Four hundred. Hundred. Uh huh. Seven hundred eighty-nine. Seven hundred eighty-nine. Correct. So that is correct. One hundred and twenty-three million four hundred and fifty-six thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine. Okay. So this is how we read big numbers or large large numbers. There is an exercise that I want to share with you about big numbers. Okay, but because of the internet, it's okay. So tens and units are always separated by a hyphen. 45, 31, 95. Now it's your turn, write these numbers. As you can see here, this is the practice that you can write the numbers in the correct way. You must write N after hundreds. 105, 398, 398. And we have here more practice. Okay, I need volunteers to tell me, at least tell me how you say these numbers. For example, this is, 21 Okay, so these ones are before 100. Now we have here 100 numbers. For example, let's see, would you like to try, Geraldine? 189. 589. 589. And 89. Okay, the next one, let's see, Maria Jose. 912. Very good. Patricia? 416. And 15. Very good. Hey, Julio? Alfaro? I think it's not. Okay, Brando? 
470. Okay, this is 470. And this one, 800? 852. 852. 852. That's correct, Juan Jose. Okay, the next one. Six hundred and ninety-one. Eight hundred and ninety-one. Thank you, Stephanie. Next. Two hundred. Three hundred and eight. And the last one. Two hundred. Two hundred and fifteen. Two hundred and thirteen. Yes. I will. I will share with you this link. So you can practice in your free time. You can do this exercise with the. You can practice the spelling because sometimes we we make mistakes when we write the numbers, right? So I will in a moment you will receive the link so you can do the exercise whenever you can. Okay, and we have another exercise in which we have to match the big numbers. Just give me a moment, I will share with you. That's it. Okay, so in this exercise, we have to match we have to match the, the, the big numbers, okay? So for example, this is? Wait, one, hundred, one hundred twenty-three. One hundred twenty-three. Okay, then we have? Two thousand, two hundred thirty-four. One thousand, two hundred thirty-four. Okay, then we have? 12,305. 12, okay, then we have 123,000. Uh-huh. 456. Yes, that's correct. And then we have 1,234,000. Five and the last one we read twelve million three hundred forty four thousand six hundred seventy eight. Yes, that's correct. Very good. And then we have to listen and match. Ah, uh, but I think uh, I need okay. Let's see if now you can listen. Let me know if you can listen. 58,620. 58,620. Can you listen? Number three. Three? Yes, that's correct. Okay, the next one. 586. 586. Number one. The first one. Five thousand eight hundred sixty-two. Number four. Uh, second. Eight hundred sixty-two. Yeah, the second. Okay. Five million eight hundred sixty thousand and two hundred. Uh, four. Number four. Five million eight hundred sixty thousand and two hundred. It's number five. five. Yeah, the last. Okay. Five hundred eighty-six thousand and two hundred. Hey, oh. yes, five hundred eighty-six thousand two hundred. Yes. Okay, down here you have to write the number in this exercise. <laughs> you have to write the numbers. It's, it's a little bit long, right? But that's the way it is, right? Uh, the large numbers or big numbers. 
So I'm going to send you the, the link so you can do this exercise for you to practice, okay? So in a moment, okay. because in class we don't have like much time to do it. But I know you want to practice as much as you can. By the way, I would like to know if you finished, did you finish the platform? Because uh, the person in charge checked today. Did you finish? Yeah. No. No. Well, you have to do it as soon as possible, okay? Because today was the last day. But maybe they give you a chance for tomorrow. Okay, so what is the topic for today's class? It's about the use of word to express preference. <clears throat> First, we're going to study how to use <clears throat> would like. Would like. So the formula or the structure is the, we need the subject. Then we use the would like, would like. And we can use an infinity to work, to study, to read, to go, to swim, to drink, etc. Or we can have a noun. I would like pizza. You would like eh, pupusas. He would like eh, a soda. She would like mm, a cell phone, etc. So we can use uh, the subject would like and an infinity form of the verb or the other option is to use a noun, okay? <clears throat> so that is the structure for would like to express preference. We have here some examples. Judy would like to have a hamster. Really would like to have a hamsters. So in these exercises, we need to, to uh, add would like to the sentence. <clears throat> and you're going to help me to do it. So who can help me with the first one? Sara. Sara. Excuse me. You would like to go to the zoo? Sara would, would like to go to the zoo. Very nice. The zoo. Okay, number two, Mary. Mary, good to have. Would, I have. would like to have. Mary would like to have a cup of coffee. To have a cup, a of, cup of, tea. of tea. Yeah. Okay. Number three, you can also I, do your notebook, right? You will practice with me at the same time. Number three, I would like. To play volleyball. I would like to play volleyball. Okay. Number four. We would like. <clears throat> yes. We would like to make a snowman. Okay, number five. They would they like. Would... Yes, they would like to go escape. Go escape. Yes. Okay, number six. They would like to buy sweets. She would like to buy sweets. And number seven. The bed to the bed late. Okay. Would like to don't forget to go to bed late. They would like to go to bed late. Number eight. I would like to visit. I would like to visit the London Eye. 
children who like eat to ice cream. Yes, that's correct, Jasmine. Children would like to eat yeah, ice cream. And the last, Robert. Robert would like to go for a walk. For a walk. Very nice. So these are the examples using would, would like, plus to, and the verb. Now, guys, I would like you to write some examples of your own. Okay? Can you please share with me five, five examples? You are going to create in this moment five sentences. You can do it in affirmative form or in negative. What is the negative form? For example, here we have Judy would like to have a hamster. In negative, would be Judy wouldn't. wouldn't. So I add an apostrophe T or not. Judy would not like or Judy wouldn't like to have a cat, right? Judy wouldn't like to have a cat. Judy would like to have a hamster, not a cat, right? So we can use the negative form. Another one is Sarah wouldn't like to go to the beach. Mary wouldn't like to have a cup of coffee. I wouldn't like to play football, right? So that is the negative. You can make affirmative and negative sentences, for example, as examples or as practice. So I need you to write five, five. You can mix negative and affirmative, please. So let's work on writing five examples using would like, and while you do it, I am going to take the attendance. So please be ready to say, I am here, teacher, present. Just give me a moment to look for the list. Today is Thursday, July 13th. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We have, yeah, Thursday, July 13th. Aleida Samira. Aleida Present Samira Guadalupe. Okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Hello, Tisha. Thank you, Anna. How are you? Andrea Esther Acosta. Thank you, Andrea. Brandon Steven Gomez. Okay, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Eh, Efraín Emilio Acevedo in the chat. <laughs> Geraldine Lisa Miel. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Virginia Tobar de Castaneda. Present teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Maricela Flores Ramírez. Ingrid Maricela. Not present today. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Vanessa García Sánchez. Present. Thank you, José Alejandro Vaquerano. Present, teacher. Juan David Madrid. Platform and see the previous uh, topics because it is really important. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, <laughs> Juan José García Méndez. Present, teacher. Julio César Alfaro Bonilla. Present teacher. Kevin Josías Flores Barrera. Kevin Josías. Absent. Lorena de Los Ángeles Benjiva. Ella no pudo estar, teacher. Está donde mi abuela y no hay luz por allá. Ok, thank you. Luis Cibrián. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Luis. Maria Jose? Present. Okay, Mary Daniela Carranza? Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am. Mirna Yanes Landos, thank you. Mirna Landos? Present, teacher. Okay, Mirna. Eh, Nelson Adán Cerón? I think yes. Eh, Patricia García? Present. And Sandra Elizabeth Asensio? Present, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra Elizabeth Corea? Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth, eh, no, Sandra Lizette Moza. Present teacher. Espérenme, creo que me confundí aquí. Eh, Sandra Lizette, ok, present. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present teacher. Ah, thank you. Sandra Corea. Creo que Sandra Corea es la que estoy diciendo. En Sandra Elizabeth Asensio is present. Okay. And then we have Stephanie Quintanilla. I'm here. And Valeria del Carmen Beltrán. Beltranina. Present. Thank you. A ver, los que entraron tardecito, que ya había pasado lista. Ingrid Maricela. No, teacher, yo, acabo de, yo acabo de entrar, teacher. No sé si ya pasó lista. Kevin Josías, sí. Kevin sí. Josías Flores. Okay. Okay. Ahorita acabo de entrar. Ok. Absent today, I have Lorena and Sandra Corea. And the others are present. Very good. Great. So let's check your examples. We have here. I would like to buy ice cream. She would like to be a rich woman. We would like to go camping. They would like to play tomorrow. He would like to be close. Wow. Okay. Great example. Then we have, I would like, you are missing two. I would like to walk in the park. He would like to go to the gym. We wouldn't like to wake up early. We wouldn't like to if it's together. Can you leave your just missing two? Okay. Oh, yes, Milagro. I <laughs> told you that. Uh, Milagro says, I would like to walk more. I would like to eat the pizza. I would like, to... okay, Stephanie, I would like to drink maybe. I would like to have a cup of milk. I wouldn't like to eat from olives. I wouldn't like to eat fish. I would like to see a movie. Okay, don't forget the verb, Stephanie, after two. I would like to go to eat. I wouldn't, I would don't like to eat fish. Okay, and there is I wouldn't sin el don't, porque en al would le agregamos el not. I wouldn't like to eat fish. He wouldn't like to walk. She would like to play video games. We would like to swim. Swing with M in the lake. Okay, I will collect yours. I wouldn't like to eat fish. Okay, be careful with the spelling. I would like to eat pupusas. She would like to them. Salsa, I wouldn't like to drive a car. We would like to pay attention in classes. I would like to go to the beach. Mary would not like to have a dog. She would like to clean the house. Matias would like to use the phone. My mother would like to go to the park. She would not like to do homework. People would not like to be friendly. I would like to receive classes. Okay. Great, right. so thank you for your examples, for practicing. Remember, the more you practice, the better for you. Just be careful 
when the, when it's the negative form. Can you remember it's the subject? Plus wouldn't or would not, or in the contracted form, wouldn't like to or wouldn't like, and then the, the verb, two plus the verb, and the complement. Let's see Alejandro's examples. I would like to do pizza. I wouldn't like to do exercises. I would like to speak, maybe. I would like to speak English very well. I would like to travel around the world. Good. Okay. So let's go over to next. Oh, Virginia, I would like to have a dog. I wouldn't like to have a pet. I would like to go to the gym every day. I wouldn't like to walk to work. Uh, we would like to have dinner as a family. We would always, we would always like to have dinner as a family. I wouldn't like to eat yogurt. <laughs> you don't like it, okay. Now we have here some questions and we have to choose what is the, or some sentence. We need here to choose the correct form, the correct option. So when we make questions, we put would at the beginning, then we have the subject like to plus the verb or a noun, for example, would you like to sleep right now? Uh, would you like an apple? Would you like a cup of coffee? Uh, would you like uh, to watch a movie? So let's see here the exercises. Number one, what is the correct form? I would travel to Spain or I would like to travel to Spain. Next summer, but I don't have enough money. I would be. like to travel. Exactly. I would like to travel to Spain, but I don't have enough money. Number two is the question. Let it be. And, and how would the question be, Milagro? Would you like to see an action movie tomorrow night? Of course, yes. Okay. <laughs> Number three, are you ready to order? Yes. Uh, letter e. A. A. Letter A, yes, I would like a sandwich, mm -hmm. please. So it's mm -hmm. would, like, plus noun, right? Sandwich is a noun. I would like a sandwich, please. Okay, next. I'm bored. What? What is the correct option? Mirror B. B. What would you like to do this weekend? What would you like to do this weekend? Very nice. Number five. How many chocolate chips cookies? Okay, number six. Yes, teacher. Yes, number six. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The letter P. <laughs> okay. Would your kids like to play at the park next week? Next weekend, okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. Would you like a Let cup of tea? A. Yes. Let it a. Let a. A. Yes. For sure answers, we just say yes. I would. No, I would. That is the. Yes, I would 
Thank you. Number eight. I feel sick, so. I would like to go. I would like I would to like go. To go home early today. I would like to go home early. And number nine. Letter A. Would you like some apple pie? Letter A. Would. Yes, it's letter A. So remember, for nouns, we just, we don't need to, right? Only with the verb, we need to use to. Very good. Oh, we still have more exercises here. Okay, we have here number 10. Which letter B? Can you read the question? How would the question be? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like a strawberry? strawberry? Which vanilla. would you like? Strawberry or vanilla ice? Remember when we have which, we have two options. We have two options or three options. Okay, 11. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. <laughs> would you like to drink some tea? Yes, I would. Thank you. Mm, number 12. Hello. Hello. Letter B. Uh -huh. I. Letter B. Yes. I would like. Okay, number 13. Are you ready to order? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. We have the verb try. I would like to try the garden salad. And number 14, Kim said he. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Yes, he would, would like to cook for us. Okay, 15. Which restaurant? This letter B. Would you like would you like to go tonight? tonight. Which restaurant would you like to go to tonight? 15. Can I help you? Yes. Yes, I would like to buy. I would like to buy a base cup. What kind of present would you like for your birthday? For your birthday. Very a. good. This is letter A. What kind of present would you like for your birthday? And number 18. Would you like more rice? Yes. Yes. We yes, good. yes we're we're very, good. We're very hungry. So please more rice. <laughs> Excellent. Now, guys, I would like you to write questions using what? Can you make questions? Again, five questions using what? For example, would you like to have English classes on Saturday? Would you like to have English class on Saturday? What is your answer? Yes, I will, teacher, or no, I, no, thank you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. So let's make the questions, please.
I'm sorry, guys. I'm having internet. It's really, I'm really sorry for that. Mm -hmm. It's not a, it's not a stable the internet in this moment. Well, so I was telling you to make the questions. I would like to know if you have your questions. Hello, did you listen to me? Oh, no, yes. Yes, okay. yes teacher. I would like to know if you are finished with the questions. Mm -hmm. The questions are in the chat. Dick. Your questions are okay. Are you? <laughs> okay, I have here one. Are you tired, teacher? Would you like? Would I like to eat ice cream? Would you like to speak English very well? Very good, Anna. Okay, I don't see yours, Milagro. Maybe I didn't get them because I lost the connection. Oh, okay, here. Would you like to go to the gym with me? Maybe. Would you like to have a lot of money? Mm, that's a good idea. Would she like to go there since tonight? Would they like to buy apple pie right now? Would I like to be a bad person? <laughs> I think you would like. Okay, <laughs> thank you for your examples. What other requests can you make using wood? Okay, tell me, what would you like to do tomorrow? Let's speak. Or on the weekend, what would you like to do on the weekend? Well, this weekend I would like to go to the I would like to go to the market to buy fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. What would you like to do on the weekend? I would like to go to the beach. <laughs> okay, yeah, these days have been very warm, right? Very hot. So that could be nice to go to the beach. Okay. Any other opinions, comments? Valeria? Maria Jose says that she would like to visit her grandma. Geraldine, you're missing too. Would you like to do exercise? With me, would you like to eat vegan? Two. Don't forget to use two. Would you like to? Okay. Now, guys, we're gonna have a listening exercise. Oh, okay. And that sends her questions. Would you like to go to the beach this weekend with me, at Milano? You can go with Andrea. <laughs> Would she like more soda? Would you like some fruit with your breakfast? Mm, that sounds healthy and good. Would he like coffee? Would we like to go to play? Okay. Good examples. So right here we have a listening exercise. Steven and Zara are working late. Listen as their boss asks what they would like for dinner. What do they order? We are going to fill in their choices. So we're going to listen to the conversation and let's uh, pay attention to what they would like for dinner. Steven and Sarah. Page 90, exercise 9. Listening, working late, part A. Stephen and Sarah are working late. Listen as their boss asks what they would like for dinner. What do they order? Fill in their choices. Sarah, Stephen, thanks for working late tonight, guys. I'm going to order dinner for you from City Table Restaurant. 
Wow, thanks, Luis. Yeah, thanks. I emailed you a link to their online menu. Open it up and have a look. What would you like? I don't even need to look. I love their sausage pizza. I'd like a small one. And I'd like a small pizza with peppers, please. Okay, great. The pizzas come with salads. What kind of dressing would you like? I'll have Italian dressing. I'd like vinaigrette, please. Great. Now, what would you like to drink? Some coffee, maybe? That sounds good. I'll have a coffee. Okay. How do you take it? With cream and sugar. I'd like an iced tea with lemon, please. Perfect. Have you looked at the desserts? They're really good. Are they? Well, then, I'd like a slice of blueberry pie. And how about you, Stephen? Hmm. I don't usually eat dessert. Are you sure? Remember, I'm paying. Well, okay. I'll have a piece of chocolate cake. Good choice. That's my favorite. Okay, I'll order everything online. The food will probably be here in 30 minutes. Okay. Um, so that's a nice boss, right? <laughs> he is paying all the order. Nice. All the dinner. <laughs> okay. So what kind of pizza would Steven like? Or do you need to listen one more time? Would you like to listen again? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Page 90, exercise 9. Listening. Working late. Part A. Stephen and Sarah are working late. Listen as their boss asks what they would like for dinner. What do they order? Fill in their choices. Sarah, Stephen, thanks for working late tonight, guys. I'm going to order dinner for you from City Table Restaurant. Wow, thanks, Luis. Yeah, thanks. I emailed you a link to their online menu. Open it up and have a look. What would you like? I don't even need to look. I love their sausage pizza. I'd like a small one. And I'd like a small pizza with peppers, please. Okay, great. The pizzas come with salads. What kind of dressing would you like? I'll have Italian dressing. I'd like vinaigrette, please. Great. Now, what would you like to drink? Some coffee, maybe? That sounds good. I'll have a coffee. Okay. How do you take it? With cream and sugar. I'd like an iced tea with lemon, please. Perfect. Have you looked at the desserts? They're really good. Are they? Well, then, I'd like a slice of blueberry pie. And how about you, Stephen? Hmm. I don't usually eat dessert. Are you sure? Remember, I'm paying. Well, okay. I'll have a piece of chocolate cake. Good choice. That's my favorite. Okay, I'll order everything online. The food will probably be here in 30 minutes. Good. So, what kind of pizza would a Steven like? Such as pizza. Steven would like sausage. And the salad with what kind of dressing? Red salad. In the bread. And the drink? Coffee. What would you like to drink? Coffee. 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 With Coffee. Cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. And for the time, he would like a pizza. It's a chocolate egg cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, what about Sarah? What kind of pizza would Sarah like? I think the pepperoni. Small pizza with pepper. Small pizza. Small. What about the salad? Italian dressing. Italian dressing. 
Italian dressing and the drink? Uh, I stick lemon. I stick with lemon tea. Lemon. 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 And uh, as the third, blueberry like pie. Slice of blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. That sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> okay, you're going to listen to the re to the rest of the conversation when the after the food arrives and you will choose two items that are missing from the order so we have to pay attention to listen what's missing in the order page 90 exercise 9 part b listen to their conversation after the food arrives Choose the two items that are missing from the order. Okay, guys. Here's the food from City Table. That was quick. Wow, it smells so good. Let's see. Two small pizzas, one sausage, and one with peppers. Thanks. The one with peppers is mine. Okay. And two salads, one with Italian dressing and one with vinaigrette. The one with vinaigrette is mine. Okay, and there's a coffee and an iced tea. The iced tea is mine, and the coffee is his. Um, this has sugar in it, but no cream. Is there any in the bag? Let me see. Maybe it's in the bottom of the bag. No, I don't see any cream. Well, that's all right. I think we have some in the office kitchen. Oh, that's good. And finally, a piece of chocolate cake. That's everything. Oh, but I ordered a slice of blueberry pie. Hmm, it's not on the receipt. Sorry, Sarah, I think I forgot to order it. Oh, well, that's okay. Would you like some of my chocolate cake, Sarah? This piece is huge. Really? Thanks, Stephen. That's so nice of you. Very nice. So what are the two the two things that are missing from the order? Uh, Steven the cream. Mm -hmm. uh, Steven the cream coffee. coffee and and Sarah the the, pie, the, the dessert. Blueberry pie. Uh -huh. This slice of blueberry pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poor Sarah. <laughs> But the good thing is that Stephen is going to share his huge piece of chocolate cake with her. Very nice. So, um, as you can see, Stephen and Sarah are using wood light uh, for their preferences in food. So, especially we use it for food, but also with other things, right? Is that if I ask you, like the question I was asking you, what would you like to do this weekend? What would you like to study tomorrow in the class? What would you like to review? From all the topics that we have studied, in this in this uh, course, what topics would you like to review? Or, or what would you like to study more? Maybe we can have it in the next class. You're trying to remember. Mm -hmm. The topic <laughs> present continue. Present continuous in case. future. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Present continuous as future. Any other one? Uh, the short answer uh, and either and two, uh, it's, I know it's easy, but when I I want to the practice is I 
se me hace un poco difícil. <laughs> It It's was difficult, difficult for you. Which yeah. one? Which short answers, Anna? The ones for me, uh, so do I, neither do I, those ones? Yes, yes, that's one. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Thank you for your suggestions. I am writing here so that I can include it in the next classes that we have. Okay, um, tell me, what did you learn in this class? What is one example of what you learned today? What activity did you like most? And what do you need to practice? So maybe you can think about this statement and tell me something about it. What did you learn today? Did you learn something new? Uh, to be a polite when I asked another person. Uh, some something. Okay, using wood, right? What is one example? Using wood. Okay. Would you like to go to to drink a cup of coffee? <gasps> yes, I would love to. Thank you. <laughs> what activity did you like? Listening activity. The listening part, yes. It was easy, right? It was very yeah. understandable. And what do you need mm -hmm. to practice more? Difficult. difficult. What, do you, what do you I need, need to practice? Negative form. Negative okay. forms. Okay. Thank you for your opinions. They help me a lot when I plan my classes. Okay, people. The class was so short. Now we have to... I have to go to my next class, but it was good to see you. See you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.